Alright everybody, today we are gonna make a tier list. Uh, the main EX of this anniversary just came out, maybe. I still think there might be a small chance a fourth EX could come out. I hope not, but I wouldn't highly... I, I don't know, I think Bandai would do something like that, make four EXs. I mean, we had it good when there were just two EXs per anniversary. And yeah, that's the probably best time, but now there's three every anniversary. Usually it was like, uh, I think it was three every like main anniversary, like third, fourth, fifth. And then like the point fives was always two usually. But now they changed it, there's three every single, basically six months, but... But yeah, Shanks just came out. We're gonna make a tier list. See where they go. Um, I'm gonna make it. So this tier, I'm gonna put basically all the EXs in the order from like worst to best here. And then I'll do the top 10. But let's get this one out of the way first. So the worst EX, in my opinion, has to go to Blue Kaido. I'm sorry, but... Uh, Blue Kaido just can't do anything. Uh, Roger will absolutely destroy him. His fl fireballs high barely work anymore on any enemy. They're just too tanky. Just Kaido, unfortunately, has just fallen off. He probably needs his buff the most, in my opinion, out of every character in the game. But Kaido, when he gets his buff, he's going to be insane. He was insane when he first came out. Third anniversary, of course. But... Yeah, I unfortunately think he is the worst EX so far uh, out at the moment. Of course, his buff will make him easily top 10. Of course, next is Odin. Should have gotten a buff with Roger, but unfortunately he did not. I put him a little above Kaido just because runners in this meta are just better. You could still rat with Odin, just run from every fight. With Kaido, you kind of have to be on the front line uh, filling up the treasure, but... That's why I have Odin a little above Kaido, just cause, yeah, like I said, you could just rat, you don't need to fight anyone in this meta, pretty much. Next we have is Z, unfortunately, there's just too many characters that can remove his state nowadays, and Z, unfortunately, is just useless without his state, pretty much, and, yeah, I, I love Z, I hope his buff is insane. In my opinion, he was the best EX, even after Film Red Shanks came out. He was just insane. You had the best set on him, and level 100, he was literally Shanks couldn't do anything to him if you knew how to play him. That's why he is slow, though, because, like I said, everyone removes his Z state, or whatever his state is called. His new skill is pretty cool, though. But, yeah, unfortunately, I just think he is not up to par anymore. Next we have is Yamato, runner Yamato I'm gonna put. Just like Odin, she's pretty much the same, just a little bit better than Odin. Her skills are pretty much the same, except she has a counter. Uh, she is still extremely tanky, just cause she's this low doesn't mean she's not good. You can definitely still use her in this meta really well. And of course, like just with Odin, just rat your way to any treasure and you will be good. You, yeah, you, ju you just need a rat and hope the team doesn't do anything, but yeah, Boas will just teleport on you probably and yeah, it, it's just not going to be that good, but yeah, Yamato unfortunately just not it anymore, but next we have, uh, I'm going to probably put, yeah, I think I, I really don't want to put Big Mom this low, how insane she was when she first came out, but unfortunately again, she is not it anymore she was the best ex for a long time but not anymore her skills are so easy to dodge there's so many counter characters now so easy to dodge her skills she does have insane heals of course she can switch some runner defender to runner which is very very useful but unfortunately she's not doing much if she tries to grab a flag with a boa on it Boa just turns her to stone and she's dead instantly. There's nothing you can do. And then uh, her shock is pretty much useless. Can't really shock anyone in this meta because everyone has uh, status effect remove. And uh, she, she's still tanky though. She still has good skills, just too easy to dodge. 
and I, that's why I put her this low. But next we have, I'm probably gonna have to go with a Blackbeard. I could, I almost want to put Blackbeard below Big Mom, but Blackbeard can pull anyone off the flag, which is very useful in a meta where people can just grab the flag when you're on it. He doesn't get, I mean, he'll get stunned if you're next to Roger when you try to pull him off, but he's just like treble. He can literally pull anyone off, even kings that have like the three hit cooldown thing. You can just pull him off the treasure, it doesn't matter. That's why I think he's a little better than Big Mom. Of course, uh, Ashley, I would think Blackbeard would handle decently against the new Shanks, if I'm not wrong. Blackbeard's skill, what is it, Black Hole, whatever skill it is, skill 2 probably, is, it does a lot of damage, and he does more damage against Devil Fruit users, I know Shanks isn't, but most characters are Devil Fruit users. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess Roger and Shanks are probably the top two, and they're not Devil Fruit users, but Boa, Luchi, Whitebeard, Yamato, Ace are all Devil Fruit users. Next, I'm probably going to have to put OG Big Mom. Her buff was pretty good. Uh, she is still usable and pretty good, but unfortunately, her shock is pretty much useless in this meta. Uh, she can grab the flag with enemy on it, but once again... She's probably not going to get far. She's not insanely tanky where she can just, you know, not, uh, not just tank everything that's been thrown at her. Boa will destroy her. And unfortunately, yeah, you just, I, I haven't seen a Puff Big Mom in a long time. I like, I swear I haven't seen one since like a month after Buff came out. And I haven't seen one again after that. But she is still good. Grab flag when enemy is on it. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty good EX overall. So, uh, actually, I don't know. Honestly, I do kind of want to put her below Blackbird, but now we'll keep it like this for now. And I'm putting it, uh, yeah, I'm putting it below Blackbird just because I don't know. She can't really do too much. Uh, next we will put. Let's see. Next, I'm gonna have to probably put uh, a tiny. Ah, uh, do I? I mean, yeah, uh, everyone can remove his magma state, pretty much, just like, um, Z, except, I don't know, he's a little better than Z, in my opinion. Uh, he can counter a few characters, but most people do remove his state. He handles really well against Roger, when I was playing him boost 4, he actually destroyed Dark Rogers pretty easily. And honestly, he would probably destroy Green Roger, right? I would uh, think so. He was Green Roger's EX counter. So, I don't know how he would handle against the buff, but I think Akainu could do a really good job against uh, Green Roger, too. We need to test that out, but... Yeah, I think uh, he's still a solid attacker. Honestly, he doesn't even need his buff yet. It's true, the status effect remove is annoying, but this guy is pretty solid overall. His damage is still insane. His flame, his skill one's pretty insane still. And just overall, he's a really good EX still. Next, I'm gonna have to put Blue Luffy, I think, right? Yeah, probably Blue Luffy. Uh, he has two forms. He can switch attacker and runner. Pretty useful, of course, but unfortunately... You just get destroyed. And you, if a, a good Luffy knows how to play it, maybe. But most EXs will just destroy him in an instant with their um, invincible skills. I know he has his invincible skill too, but uh, you can't even hold down your skill anymore because you're just going to get attacked from a Roger or something from across the map or something like that. And unfortunately, he's just not too viable in League, uh, league Battle these days, but... He's still, again, a solid attacker. I did recently use him boost 4. Uh, what was it? Uh, it was, yeah, it was when Roger was out. I think it was around the time Boa came out. I, uh, did boost 4 gameplay, and he did pretty good, but... Still, mm, can't hold up to most of the other EXs in the meta. Uh, next, I'm probably going to have to put... Yeah, I think Hybrid Yamato... Her shield is really good, her frostbite can't really affect too many characters because once again, 
most characters remove that effect, but when you can get Frostbite on, she does insane damage. She might be the one of the highest damage dealers, right? If she gets uh, it on. But, yeah, unfortunately, her shield does come in handy a lot. Her shield, honestly, is the only reason I think I put her this high. I probably would have put her maybe below Blackbird or something. But, you know, surviving one skill, pretty much no matter what, is just an insane ability. Because uh, it doesn't matter, I don't think it matters how much damage the thing does. It will always just remove your shield first. And you can't even attack her with normals with most characters. You try to attack her with normals, you just get, like, pushed back because her shield, when she has her shield on. And then, of course, she just gets frostbite on you and then you're dead. And she, it's pretty easy for her to refill it also. But yeah, she is still pretty solid. Next, I'm going to have to put Blue Shanks. His damage is insane. His counter is insane if you know how to use him. Uh, his 1 HP trait comes in handy a lot. I'm always at like 1 HP with this Shanks and I, it just saves me every time because we can get an attack off and heal or whatever but uh, but his normal same insane damage she's definitely one of the highest damage dealing EXs I think in the game and he is still extremely extremely solid uh, of course he buffed uh, what was it one, one and a half years ago already right yeah, I want to say one and a half years ago already, uh, which is insane, but yeah, I, yeah I'm i probably going to have to put him at that spot. Uh, we have two more characters we put until the top 10. We make the top 10, so I'm going to, dang, I'm looking at these EXs and all of them are pretty good, but unfortunately, they, two of them have to fall out of the top 10. And I think I'm going to have to put Hybrid Kaido. There's many, many, many teleporting characters. He is no longer the best teleporting characters. Not to say he's not solid. Just because I put him not in the top 10 doesn't mean he's not good and viable in League Battle. It just means there's others better than him, of course. But, of course, teleporting's always good. He's just not the best teleporter, like I said, anymore. Uh... He has his anti-heal, which works very well against characters who can be affected by it right away, but... His skill 2 just knocked the enemy back really nice. But overall, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to put him low. Uh, not in the top 10, because, yeah, just look at these other EXs we have to do. And finally, the final person not making it to the top 10, I think, has to be... I don't know, I don't really want to put any of these characters below the top 10, but one of them has to, right? We have uh, 3, 6, 9, yeah, 11. So I'm going to have to put Zoro, unfortunately, because all these other characters, I'm talking about, of course, current League Battle, uh, how well they handle in the current meta. But, yeah, I think, honestly, I'm just going to have to put Zoro in there, because, uh, actually, Film Red Shanks, do I put him... Actually, I think I'm leaning towards Filmer Shanks, but his damage is still insane. Uh, he can handle Rogers. Uh, do I? I don't know who to put. So his type changing is very useful, but of course that doesn't. Yeah, I think I'm put so because his type changing doesn't work on light and dark elements, which is mostly the meta right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to put him here. Plus, Luchi and Boa are both blue element. Boa absolutely destroys Zoro because he doesn't have status vector move. So yeah, I will have to put Zoro there instead of Film Red Shanks. But, of course, once again, Zoro is very viable. He is very good still. Type changing on the three basic elements. Insane. His uh, Invincible skill is pretty good. His uh, Ashura skill is extremely good, of course, still. But unfortunately, what hurts him is him not being able to have status effect remove. If he had that, he definitely would be in the top 10. Probably his buff, but we'll have to wait. Now, of course, Shanks. We're getting to the top 10. Shanks, of course, obvious choice for 10th spot as I was almost switching both Zoro and Shanks. But Shanks' red-haired state, of course, stops him from being affected by status effects and being targeted. 
His damage is insane. His invincible skills are insane. Uh, his normals, they could be better, but they're not bad. He can knock Rogers off if you t uh, time it right. You just need to make sure you only hit him with the final hit of the uh, normal. But Shanks, of course, still very viable. I don't know if this guy will honestly ever fall out of the top 10. He is insane. He always adapts to the meta ever since, what was it, 3.5 anniversary, right? And yeah, he's just always adapted to the meta. Even when Zoro was the best EX, basically Shanks' counterpart, he still was able to dominate somehow. Um, and uh, yeah, this meta, he handles Rogers really well. Well, I'm not sure about S Snakes. He does have type advantage up against S Snake and Boa, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put him there. Uh, next, we're probably going to have to put Whitebeard. Just unfortunately, his Roger just destroys Whitebeard. Roger is just too stupidly broken. He gets one stun off, and you're dead. He stuns you, he uses his skill one, and you're just dead. There's literally nothing you can do about it. Roger can hit you through your uh, stone, rocks, whatever you, that you make come up from every treasure uh, with his one thing. So, yeah, every time I play Whitebeard, instantly rush by Roger, get two shot in because Roger's fixed damage is just too insane. So, but if you're not fighting Roger, he is extremely good. If Roger was in the game, honestly, he could probably be number one. But just because of roger and i believe he handles really good uh, well against the new shanks when i was fighting them when i was making my shanks level 100 video whitebeard was actually doing really well against that shank so he's pretty good overall just dark roger just ruins him in my opinion next character we will have to put at the number eight spot is probably going to be i'm probably going to put gear fifth yeah probably gear fifth of course, he can change into every single type, which is an insane ability. Uh, every, not like, call, yeah, type, runner, defender, attacker. And he does well against the new Shanks. The only reason he's this higher up, because he actually does good against the new Shanks. But, of course, Shanks still destroys him most of the time, but at least Luffy could kill those new Shanks. Uh, through his skills, he's got his new skills, skill 1 and skill 2. He has his infinite counter that he can just keep putting up. Unfortunately, for Dark Rogers, they can just break through his counter. But Luffy handles uh, pretty well against Dark Roger. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure every skill Luffy has can knock Dark Roger off the flag, right? So, yeah, he, he's, his damage is insane. The fact he can change into all three types is insane and overall just a really insane defender that uh, you probably yeah will never fall off again i mean albert did destroy him like a month after he came out but i i yeah i don't know what op are they, they i mean that's fine nah at least balance the game a bit but yeah albert destroyed this luffy instantly you cannot play this luffy without getting one shot by albert Alright, next spot, we will probably put, yeah, I'm probably going to have to put Lonkin, of course, Luffy, uh, they came out pretty much at the same time, a month apart, uh, last .5 anniversary, one year ago about they came out, they're still extremely viable, uh, two health bars pretty much, two insane heal skills, two insane, well, Law has a teleporting skill, Kid has an insane, uh, attack skill. And just overall, a solid EX can grab the flag when enemies on it. Uh, can Law cannot be stunned or frozen or anything like that. Unless if he's below whatever percentage HP. Kid can, unfortunately, but then you just need to switch and uh, play the character that you think is the best. Like, if you're fighting a Roger, definitely don't go Kid. Because you're going to get instantly stunned and killed, but... Overall, this character, again, I don't think will ever fall off, necessarily. They are just too good to fall off. But, next character we gotta put is probably... Dang, we have a, we have stacked characters down here, but... Next I'm probably gonna have to put is... I don't know, honestly, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put Luchi. 
Alright, I had to go somewhere quick, but uh, I'm going to restart. Uh, next one is Luchi at 6. Uh, unfortunately, Luchi, he is pretty good, but can't grab the flag when the enemy's on it. Definitely hurts him a lot, being a runner. I hate that ability. I will always say I hate that ability, but if a runner does not have it, they are not the best runner in the game. Of course, Luchi is also an attacker, which helps a lot. We're not just basing off a runner or whatever, but Luchi also being able to switch to attacker and having his invincible skills is insane. And then when he can escape and run, very good. But yeah, mostly she he can do a lot of damage against Boa, but at the same time, Boa can absolutely destroy him also. He does have status victory move pretty good. Um, his, uh, of course, traveling skill is extremely good. He course switches like I said attacker another invincible skill he has this claw effect that will get rid of normal slash skill 2 or whatever it does and just overall a solid EX but unfortunately I'm gonna have to put him at 6 next is Yamato and Ace their damage is just insane like if you know how to play this character you're gonna dominate no matter who you're fighting like the, uh, their damage is insane they can also remove shanks's uh hockey effect the new shanks of course which definitely makes him go up a little higher uh his hockey effect he can remove of course you have two health bars once again just like kid in law uh switching yamato insane damage ace light people on fire knock them out of the treasure instant dead pretty much and just a solid ex overall Teleporting skills, you got two invincible skills. Well, yeah, two invincible skills. You have the flame for ace, where you're pretty much an invincible skill, because if anyone comes near you, they're probably going to die. Of course, you can die while you're using that skill, but it's very unlikely. People are going to run far away once you use that skill. But yeah, solid EX, and he is taking, or they are taking the five spot. And next EX, I got to put... Dang, this is a stacked, stacked thing. Okay. Alright, I gotta choose wisely. I'm gonna have to put Dark Roger. I know I'm talking about how OP he is, which he is, but unfortunately, even though he has type advantage against New Shanks, he cannot really kill New Shanks. New Shanks can kill him, but... He, yeah, the, and he has, uh, he's starting to get a lot more counters. Of course, Boa is his specific counter, pretty much. Uh, she can knock him off the flag extremely easy. Shanks can't do damage to him, but he can't really do damage to Shanks either. Of course, being able to grab the flag and stunning the enemy when they try to attack you is insanely, insanely OP. And I, I don't know, I almost want to put him up more. And I feel... I don't know, it just feels weird putting him at number 4. But, I honestly think the other EXs are just better overall. Like, Roger can definitely clutch up for you easily, but if you have a Boa on the flag, like, you're not grabbing the flag from a Boa unless it's just like 1 HP. She's just gonna get her flame, and you're just not gonna be able to touch her. She's just gonna easily knock you off the flag every time you are not grabbing the flag from Boa. And you either need your teammate to handle that Boa, or... You're gonna have to hope that treasure is like one because yeah, you, like I said, you're not grabbing it But yeah, yeah, it feels weird putting Roger at four, but unfortunately, I think these characters are just better Next character I have to put Has to be I mean, I, I, I need to think a little bit. These are three really good characters. I Almost so we're, we're basing off everything in the meta not just running or attacking or defending. Oh yeah, we have a runner attack and defender too, nice. So, basing off the meta, I ha don't have too, too much experience with Shanks. His two invincible skills are insane. And uh, a Boa I do have, uh, I played her a lot, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put Roger. Roger does counter the Shanks and will absolutely destroy the Shanks' health bar. But this Shanks having pretty much three skills and two invincible skills, and by the time you use the second part of your second invincible skill, it's already back. It's just insane. So unfortunately, I will have to put Roger here. Also, Boa. If Boa has her flame, he doesn't have that many multi-hit 
like he doesn't have a multi-hit attack so it's gonna take him a bit to remove that flame and by the time you get rid of her flame she's gonna either teleport away and then come back or she's gonna have her skill to get more flame back but both Roger is extremely good uh, but yeah this one I, th I honestly think he is better I think he might have been the best EX like the first week it came out but now people are adapting to the new Roger and now how to counter him a little bit better Alright, uh, the two best EXs, I don't know, okay, I'm gonna do, yeah, we'll do number one first. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put, I don't know, so Shanks is pretty new, so, and I don't have too, too much experience with him, so I don't wanna speak crazily about him, but when I used him yesterday, he absolutely dominated, but not as a runner, but as an attacker. This guy cannot grab flags when enemies are on it. I will have to put him at number one though. He cannot grab flags when enemies are on it. That hurts him a lot, but his attack is just insane. Absolutely insane. I was getting like one capture per game and like 10 KOs with him. His two skill twos, once again, extremely insane. By the, when I was playing him, I literally had his skill 2 back by the time I used the second part of his skill 2 because you know you have like part 1 and part 2 by the time you use that second part his skill 2 is literally almost back every single time and there's just no beating that and then his commissary going through walls and everything insane skill also but unfortunately he cannot grab flags when enemies are on it which like I said hurts a runner not being able to do that because that's just a basic for runners even bounty fest runners have it i would not have gave the shanks that ability though this shanks would have been just too stupidly broken like dark roger was on release and you wouldn't have been able to play this meta at all and of course we only have one ex left so it's pretty obvious where she goes i have to put her second i know some people are going to be like this roger is better or this roger is better than her but uh she's probably the ex i use most this uh season and she just destroys everyone this roger has no chance this roger like i said is basically she counters him she was meant to counter him you cannot grab the flag from a bow if you are on the treasure and uh yeah this roger will destroy her though but if you actually know how to play boa you're not gonna die from a green roger if you just keep getting your flying back and you have good medals of course she can teleport insane skill turn people to stone insane skill even though most of them do have a satisfactory move but uh, most characters like ex zoro it get yeah just destroyed instantly you can turn luchi even to stone for a second he will break out of it but it, he will turn to stone still and she will kill him with that attack most of the time her uh, skill 2 damage is absolutely insane. It's so insane, her skill 2 damage. I, I Yeah, it's basically a nuke skill, except it's not a one-time thing. And then, of course, her kick. Her skill 1 kind of sucks, but, of course, it gives you that flame, so it makes up for the skill itself kind of sucking. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, though, if you do not land it, y you're not... Yeah, you're not getting your flame and you're probably screwed, but you just need to make sure you time it right. Her normals are insane, also easily knocking any runner off the flag except Shanks. Of course, she can't grab the flag when she's on it, though he would have to grab it before. But overall, insane EX. She definitely would have been number one if I made this before Shanks came out. And yeah, she just has everything. Teleporting, insane damage, uh flame which she has basically immunity to three attacks and just an insane ex overall and there we go that is my top 10 i guess i mean we ranked all of them also by the way it's in this order so zoro is basically 11th place then 12th 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 kaido being the worst i could have probably flipped it but so yeah Zoro is basically the 11th spot 
even though Kaido's like at the front, but yeah, Zoro's the real like 11th spot, not Kaido. Kaido's the worst EX in my opinion. But there we go. I know some people are definitely not going to be happy about this. this. I know I'm going to get destroyed for putting Roger at 4th place, Dark Roger at 4th place, but unfortunately, in this meta, Boa just absolutely destroys him, and it's very hard to find a game without Boa. If you do, Roger will dominate, but if there's one Boa in the game and it's an actually good player that knows how to play Boa, you're not grabbing anything. And, uh, of course, Shanks. Roger is the better runner, uh, through Shanks, but... Just again, even though he should theoretically be OP against Shanks, he is just not. Shanks will destroy him with his damage. And then of course, Green Roger, easily, just giving him that invincible skill alone, put him higher up. And then of course, they gave him the, just everything. So, that is my list. I definitely, I honestly could switch Luchi with Yamato and Ace, but I don't know. I think Yamato and Ace might have a little more value with the Shanks running around now. Because they do insane damage, plus they remove his state. Which, that's what you need to handle a Shanks. You need his red haired state to go. But, there we go. That is my EX tier list for, uh, what is it? What, what? 5.5 anniversary? Yeah, it's 5 point. I don't know how I forgot that. Uh, that's my tier list for 5.5 anniversary. We will see the new bounty fest in probably a week or two. That will probably counter the shanks or somewhat counter him. And we will see how that handles. I'll probably make a bounty fest one too. I'm not sure if I'll wait till they come out though first or not.